It seems like we were only just getting used to HDMI 2.0 as the new normal with its support for 4K resolution at 60 Hz, making it a viable option for gamers and enthusiasts. But there's already something much more impressive on the horizon. The recently announced HDMI 2.1. Of course, going from 2.0 to 2.1 might not sound like a huge leap for mankind. Think about how unexciting the transition from Windows 8 to 8.1 was. But this new revision of HDMI actually has massively enhanced uh, capabilities. First up, let's talk resolution. 4K, 5K, and even 8K are child's play for the new HDMI 2.1, which supports content at up to 10K. And although the HDMI forum hasn't yet said if 10K means the typical 16 by 9 aspect ratio with about 10,000 pixels across or something more widescreen and cinematic, it definitely far outstrips the 4K resolution of older HDMIs. Perhaps even more impressively though, HDMI 2.1 can handle these absurd resolutions at equally absurd frame rates. We're talking 120 Hz at 10K, which makes even the 8K 60 Hz capabilities of the latest DisplayPort revision 1.4 look positively pedestrian. And although you would need a seriously incredible video card in your computer to push that many pixels in a game, you can still perhaps look forward to ultra smooth movies and videos on YouTube at staggering resolutions. And on the subject of gaming, HDMI 2.1 will support its own variable refresh rate technology, simply called Game Mode VRR. This allows a source device like a PC or a game console and a connected display to synchronize their refresh rates and thus avoid pesky screen tearing, similar to NVIDIA's G-Sync and AMD's FreeSync, which you can learn more about here. Hopefully this will finally make adaptive refresh much more accessible than the fragmented bundle of ecosystems that we have now. And that's not all it can do to make your content look more real than ever before. Like HDMI 2.0, 2.1 supports HDR or high dynamic range, which expands black and white levels as well as color ranges, especially in bright and dark scenes. You can learn more about HDR here. But HDMI 2.1 takes the concept a step further with dynamic metadata. This allows the exact range of luminance to be varied on a per frame basis. And although the existing Dolby Vision HDR standard also supports dynamic metadata, it's a proprietary standard, whereas the HDR10 standard is open, meaning more devices at lower prices. And of course, HDMI carries audio along with your video, so there are improvements for your ears as well. We'll be getting a feature called Enhanced Audio Return Channel, enabling object-based audio schemes like Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, meaning each sound in the movie or show that you're watching is encoded as its own specific object, instead of just having a limited number of discrete channels, making positional audio more realistic, whether you have four speakers in your setup or 24. But all of this new stuff, means HDMI 2.1 needs a larger pipe with higher bandwidth, 48 gigabits per second to be exact, which is over twice as much as HDMI 2.0 and even faster than current M.2 PCI Express SSDs. There is bad news though. In addition to buying a new TV, a new source device, and new copies of all of your content, you will even need new HDMI 2.1 cables to take advantage of the higher resolutions. Just make sure that you don't get hoodwinked into buying one of those $1,000 silver ones from Wireworld. Racing against the clock as a freelancer? Challenging? Yes. 
But with the growth of the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. And come on, did you have a degree in accounting already? I didn't think so. But FreshBooks just launched a new version of their cloud accounting software that is designed to make your life simpler and save you time, not to mention help you get more organized. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks. You can see when your client has seen the invoice and put an end to the guessing games. You can take deposits. You can track your expenses, basically, it's flipping awesome, but don't take my word for it. Check out the 30-day unrestricted free trial that we've got linked in the video description and enter Tech Quickie in the How Did You Hear About Us section. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future video, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, woo!